Meet Joe. Joe's been thinking about getting an electric scooter for a while, but there's a problem. He wants something we call a unicorn scooter. Something with decent enough range to get to work and back, enough power to go up the hills in San Francisco, but also affordable enough to make sense in this economy. And turns out that Joe is not alone. When Scooter first burst onto the scene, lightweight and cheap Jaumis were the name of the game. But fast forward four years and Scooters aren't just last mile commuter anymore. They're getting bigger, more powerful and certainly pricier. How do we know that? Because at Apollo, we carved out a niche for premium commuter Scooter. We made them more durable and powerful at a time when everyone thought it was crazy. I mean, why try to make a scooter that compete with bikes or cars? Isn't it the whole form factor about portability? Well, today, our bet on vehicle-grade scooter finally paid off. In fact, 80% of our customers report ditching their car after purchasing an Apollo scooter. And similarity to vehicles don't end there. From our research, reliability is the number one consideration above price and performance. So what does all of this mean? Well, it means that scooters aren't just last mile vehicle anymore, they are becoming the vehicle. But it also means that scooters need to evolve to keep up with the growing expectation of riders who want to use them for longer, to go faster, and to do more. And it makes sense when the cost of a car is 50 times the cost of an e-scooter over its lifetime. Why wouldn't you ditch your car? But even as more riders are choosing a vehicle-grade scooter, you still have a Joe someone that won both the performance and reliability, but also the compactness and affordability. In our world, you always had to choose cheap and compact or powerful and pricey. Until now. Introducing the Apollo Go, the most powerful scooter at its price point. We took all the best part about the flagship Apollo Pro and worked to condense them into a compact dual motor scooter. At last, the ultra-reliable design and cutting-edge tech that made the Pro a blowout success is finally within reach for everyone. The Go is really first in its class with a peak power of 1000 watt and a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Our ultra-efficient controller and motors are working together to offer 31 miles of range of real-world riding and can climb hills of up to 25 degrees. But at Apollo, we understood that the hardware is just as good as the software that operates it. That's why the Go is first in its category to feature a phone as display, to give our riders unprecedented control over their riding experience with things such as navigation, customizable riding setting, remaining range, remote locking, and so much more. But that's not all. We're also bringing our signature regenerative braking system to the masses. That's right, the Go will feature its own dedicated region brake throttle that will basically allow riders to reduce their mechanical brake usage by up to 90% while recharging their battery by up to 10% at the same time. Then what about reliability, you may ask? Well, we took the top five concerns of entry-level scooter and work on solution to eradicate them entirely. The Go is built and tested for 10,000 km and we're so proud to be leading the change in our industry, pushing others to make fewer scooter but make them better. One of the key indicators of safety in the scooter is visibility. In fact, 64% of accidents happen as a result of cyclists or scooter riders not being noticed by car drivers. The Go addresses this with our proprietary lighting system and built-in turn signal that are both visible from all angles. The Go also deliver in terms of portability. Weighing only 50 pounds, it's lightweight enough to be carried up or down the stairs, but more importantly, it's compact enough to fit in your trunk or under your desk. Thanks to its dual motor, the maximum rider capacity is 260 pounds, making it a solid choice for bigger rider as well. Over the years, we've collected millions of miles worth of data of how users interact with our software. The Go operates with our state-of-the-art app, which fuels design decision by leveraging data and by gathering new insight for a product team. So there you have it, the newest addition to the Apollo lineup. With our performance DNA at the core, the Go offers more value per dollar than any other scooter in its class. The Go is our second to last update to the Apollo lineup. Contrary to our competitor, we are actively reducing the size of our portfolio, betting that less is more. We believe that with four core models, we can address 80% of the use cases for electric scooters. The Go follow the leads of the Pro by being modular in design and featuring easy connectors. Combined with our app diagnostics and growing number of third-party service centers, we have built an ecosystem to make ownership easy. These four models are putting us on track to reach a billion kilometer travel on Apollo vehicle by 2030. All of us here are betting that the future is electric. But not only that, we're betting that getting around can actually be something we look forward to. 
The Go is the answer to Joe's prayers. At last, there's a dual motor scooter at an affordable price and with cutting edge technology. All of it built to last 10,000 kilometers and no less. The Go will be available as of February 2024. It will retail for $12.99 USD.